there is a place where the lost embers go. As the light begins to fade, Ember ran, because standing still made them feel helpless. The wall glistened. Ember felt so afraid and alone that it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away, when they noticed a small satchel. felt heavy. The statue shone brightly in the light. There was a symbol on the floor. Ember noticed something wrong. There was a round space where something used to fit. To Ember's delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. The stairway opened into a dark forest. Ember could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone, somewhere very unfamiliar. Ember felt like they were being watched. As Ember approached, the flames seemed to call out. With a feeling like falling, the forest had slipped away. Ember felt lost in darkness and ruin. The caged flame stoked new hope in Ember.
hope was almost within reach. The flame spoke and Ember listened. The flame lingered ahead. Was it trying to escape? Or leading the way? Fire flickered into life. The ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. I will warm them until they choose to move on. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. This is a place between places. To travel through as your light fades, but none have passed on in a long time. The Forest King now holds us here, and those who linger will turn forlorn. Again that word, forlorn. The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. If you find them, send them to me and I will guide them. I am just a guide along the way to fan the flame. So many lost embers have I seen. More than a ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Step backwards, little ember. Look behind. Upon a small grassy cliff rests a forlorn. The old gate was locked. The crow held its shining trophy tight. He was nestled between the reeds, but it was just out of reach. A 
stranger whispered. Ever feel like you are being watched? I've never felt that. What does it feel like? Is it nice? It sounds nice. The worm looked helpless, with no way to escape. As Ember picked it up, the worm let out a little yelp. Inside was a scrap of journal. The strangers on the water went on without me. Where have I landed? Vines and thorns stretch out to trip me. The Wanderer's Diary. Unfamiliar trees, a path overgrown. Is this a resting place? A place between places? I call out, but mine is the only voice. Broken net hung ominously around the skeleton's neck. Stranger shivered in the cold. They'd moved through such dark places. They lay down and closed their eyes. Warmth was a distant memory, stolen by the passing miles.
The stranger blinked at Ember. Is it morning already? How long have I been asleep? Barely visible through the murky water was the shadow of something hiding, and on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. Barely visible through the murk, and on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. The ember was curious. Where did you wake up? I'm headed for the crossroads. It's not far, I think. I've heard there's a nest there. A safe place. The fisherman murmured quietly between soulful breaths. The fisherman felt so useless. His former joys were hollow. Sitting out there every day by the pond, only the dark water to hear him talk. In that darkness, a glimmer flickered. A thought beating like a drum. A thought that went round and round. It all started with a frog. Every day by the pond, a constant reminder. For a brief moment, the f he looked at Embo, hopeful. The fisherman spoke softly. There's a frog in that pond, a big one. Saw him grow from a tadpole. We were friends of a sort, spent every day side by side. So much better at fishing than me, that frog is. Catches them before I can bait them. Oh, it makes me feel useless some days. The fisherman sighed. I've wasted so much time feeling like this. The old man looked carefully at the pond, at their rod, at Ember. Well, listen to me here, rambling on and off. It helps though, telling someone. Thank you, Ember. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You saw the frog? Did the frog mention me? You ask the frog about me, see what they say. Actually, no, just... Please don't tell the frog how much I talk about them. Poor little worms. They didn't ask to be here. But how do you fish without them? One for me, one for the fishes. Slurp them down. They say catching a fish isn't the point. So I tell myself that. I tell myself that a lot. I chased old Blue Betty round this pond for years. Best days of my life catching that fish. Had to use myself as bait. Stuck on me head ever since. The fisherman noticed the broken net Ember was carrying. Let me have a look. See what I can do. With a silk thread, the fisherman carefully knotted it together. With each knot he tied, a net began to form. There you go. Good as new. The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. He was nestled between the reeds, but it was just out of reach. The old gate was locked. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. Stranger gasped for breath. Dark water slipping above their head. The sea didn't care if they sank or swam. Slowly the tides ebbed, washing over old walls. A safe harbour emerging from the inky depths. reached out a hand.
stranger looks down. The ground feels good beneath my feet, friend. The door was sealed shut. The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. This was not how Embo had imagined the end. The gurgling of water, a deafening heartbeat. But then... The fog returned Ember's good deed by leading them to a lost forlorn. the wanderer's diary. The oily smell of frogs. They know more than they will say. They watch me watching them. Stranger stood alone. Their friends have fallen aside. Retreating from what came next. The stranger had ventured on. They were deep in the woods. It felt so pointless.
The stranger spoke hesitantly. Is the campfire crowded? Let me gather myself. I'll see you there. The stranger spoke. You look hungry, friend. You bring any broth with you? There's a cook in the swamp. Makes a broth like you wouldn't believe. Keep telling them that it doesn't taste right. They'll keep giving you more. <laughs> The traveler said, You sailed in here. Where's your friend? You need a boat. Go see the builder in the caves. Tell them I'm sorry I never came back. The stranger had blazed their own path, created their own rock, their own islands. They did not need Ember's kindness. But still, Ember stayed. Building a bridge should it ever be needed. The stranger met Ember's eyes. The two shared a moment of silence.
The stranger was trapped, caught in a maze. It was hard to make sense of this place. trail just kept on closing. The stranger's voice was hoarse. I just need some time, I think, to see things clearly. The traveler spoke. You ever had roast frog, friend? I miss a good roast frog. Oh, how they crackle. The stranger had been forgotten. They tried to follow as best they could. But 
no one heard them when they fell behind. The stranger looked at Ember with surprise. Someone came back for me. Thank you. The stranger looked at Ember with surprise. Someone came back for me. Thank you. Ghost said, You have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. Little one, your journey ahead will not be easy. The path to leave this place is blocked. I will guide others to follow after you clear the way. Others like me who can help. You will always be welcome here in the forest. <laughs> 